Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your end of May, May 15th through the 31st tarot reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. If you would like a picky reading, you can go to Instago, okay? If you have an Apple iPhone, they're 10 bucks, you know, and you'll get an answer within 24 hours. It would be a short answer, but it would be an answer. It's going really well. I really like Instago. I also have the $50 readings, which are 20 minutes, and that's a video. With Instago, you just get a photo and, you know, my quick answer. The videos are 20 minutes long for the $50, and you, can, you wouldn't believe what can be covered in that. And then um, we have the $90 reading, which is within 24 hours, um, thir three questions, 30 minutes, and that is a video as well. This is for the sign of Virgo. So it appears that somebody has lost their faith. They're also not listening to their inner guide. All right. Somebody isn't listening to their inner guide. They aren't like, believing in themselves. They aren't able to follow their own path. They're blocking the truth. Okay. They're blo you're blocking healing from happening. Okay. You're, you're blocking it. It's like Trying to do the the traditional thing that doesn't make you happy. You know what I'm saying? All right. With that three of swords right there, it's like it's time to start this healing process. It's time to mend those old wounds. You know, it is. It's time to um, let go of this sorrow that you've been holding on to. Why? Why are you holding on to this sorrow when you can let it go? You know why? Because you don't believe in yourself. Power struggles back and forth, back and forth. I want to go, I don't want to go. I want to go, I don't want to go. I want to do it, I don't want to do it. I do what I don't, I do what I don't. Too much mental conflict here. It's causing a lot of sorrow. Lost your faith. <laughs> and now there's difficulty in communication. You know, it's like there's some unexpected conflict that is coming into your life. There is. Because you're not following your path. You're not listening to your inner guide. And until you do, the universe is going to continue to bring conflicts. They're going to continue to nudge you and poke you, you know, until you do what is right for you. That's what the Hierophant does. The Hierophant does what's right for him. He believes in himself, and he follows his own path knowing, knowing. That's what your inner guide is. It's a knowing. He knows that he will be successful because he believes in himself. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing, not believing in yourself. Therefore, the universe is going to continue to throw you conflicts, throw you, throw you tension, throw you struggles until you can learn to believe in yourself. Emotionally unavailable. Lack of emotion at this time. I think you have your, your heart set in a different direction. But you're still too scared. You're too scared to follow through. Your heart is no longer where it used to be. And so you've probably shut yourself off emotionally to somebody else. You're no longer committed to that situation. No longer committed. Maybe you're looking for a divorce. Maybe you want a divorce. This is a divorce. Maybe you want out of a marriage because there's no more love. That could be the key. That means, hey... Take a look at this. But you still don't, you still, you know, it's traditional, right? You, you got you to gotta stay there because it's the traditional thing to do, right? Right? Divorce is imminent or separation. Whatever's going on. This is divorce. This is divorce. So for some of you, this is about divorce that somebody wants. But there's too much uh, conflict in regards to this, you know, guilt. There's guilt. Um, 
But if you would, if you would take action, you would find the happiness that you seek. You have to go through these conflicts and conflicts and power struggles to get to the ultimate happiness. And, you know, we all do. It's a fact of life. If you could just crawl through the picker bushes, on the other side you will find the fruit, you will find the sun, you will find the clearing. But you're going to have to go through the bullshit to find the ultimate happiness. That's what I see. Okay, these three cards. Right now your life is unbalanced. There's no harmony. There's no peace. It's like you are doing yourself the worst injustice ever by not believing in yourself. By not listening to your inner guide. So the universe is going to continue to poke you until you do. You know. There you are. It's time to it's time to get back in your element. It's time for you to get back to who you are. It's time for you to nurture yourself. Do the responsible thing for you. For you, do you understand what I'm saying? Don't make excuses and say that everybody else is in front of you. Because if mama ain't happy, or daddy, but mostly mama. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Because we all um, omit, omit this energy. If we're not happy, we can, try, we can try to hide it on the inside. Okay, we can. And there are some people that won't be able to see it because they're closed off. But children can feel it. Animals can feel it. Other human beings that are empaths. Other people can feel your unhappiness no matter how much you try to hide it. It is projected out of you. Okay? You know what I'm saying? So, you can try to hide it all you want. But, it's not really hidden. You know what I'm saying? It's not. So... The outcome is, is this. This is your outcome card. It's time to get back to who you are. All right? It is. It's time to be loyal to you. It's time to be kind to you. It's time to get disciplined and be that role model for whoever it is in your life that needs to know how strong you are, how wise you are, how stable and secure you are. You know what I'm trying to say? Right now, you're only harming yourself. You are harming yourself. By not following your heart. Not believing in yourself. I understand. You know, you're committed to a situation. But if you don't want to be there, it's not the right place to be. You will find happiness and contentment again. When you get back to who you are. Let me make sure this is zoomed in. So what advice do we have for the end? The thing is, is obviously you guys have to make your own decisions. Right now you're harming yourself. You are. That King of Swords reverse is somebody who is harming them. It's either a person that is harming you or you are harming yourself. So you are, har I think it's you harming yourself. Okay, internally, you know, you're going through something that is a terrible injustice to you. You know, you're, you're like fighting the truth here. You're being dishonest with yourself. You're probably being dishonest with others. You know, there's a faking, somebody's faking how they feel when it's really time to be practical. Because that's who you really are, right? You need to be practical. Somebody needs to be strong. Where's the strength? Where's the courage? Where's the discipline? Where's the willpower? Not here. Strength card reversed. Somebody is feeling very weak. Cowardly. I 
I mean, what's if you think about the Wizard of Oz, who what's the lion? Cowardly. This is reversed. Lion is represented by strength. I know you guys don't like that word, but that is what is going on here. When you don't do the right thing for you and for the others involved, and when you don't do the things for right, that's right for, right for you, you're not doing the right stuff for the other people involved. That's a misconception. It's time. It's time to step over the finish line. It's time to make that final decision. This is the final decision to start this new phase in your life. When this card comes up, it means somebody has learned a lesson and they've completed a large phase, a long-term phase in their life. That's what the world card is. It's a long-term phase. It's like, it's time to move on. It's time to travel out of the situation. That's what it is. So a long-term phase would be, you know, kindergarten through 12th grade. That's a long-term phase. That's schooling. It could be your college years. That's a, that's a phase. Uh, marriage could be a phase. You know, long-term phases. One long-term phase is over in your life, and it's time to begin a new one. And some of you do not have the strength to step over that finish line. It's imminent. It's imminent. What the hell are you waiting for? You want people to get hurt in the process? Somebody needs to turn their back and walk away. We've already talked about this over and over and over again. Somebody is emotionally discontent in a situation. A lot of you have already walked away, okay? Because I know this is what I do for a living. Many of you have taken those steps and walked away. If you look at last week's Virgo comments, if you guys need to go back and read them, there's one guy who made a comment under there that he finally made the step. And he had kids that were, were involved. And he is so happy. So if you watched last week's Virgo reading, and it's been a while, go back and, and look at the comments. You'll see somebody took the step. There was a gentleman that took the step. He, he, you know, he was really, he explains how he was worried about the kids and blah, blah, blah. And he is so happy now. You need to go read that comment. Go read the comments underneath that last week's Virgo reading. Do it. This is what needs to happen. You guys are stuck in a place you don't want to be. And it's killing you on the inside. And it will continue to eat you alive until you follow through. Whether this is in job or this is in love. It is cowardly to not believe in yourself and follow your heart. You have to find your strength. You have it in there. To get back to where you need to be. To take your life back. I'm not going to get any more because I don't need to. I'm going to get you one of these. Virgo, what does Virgo need to know for the end of May? They need to find the strength. I'm getting the goosebumps. You need to find the strength within you, the force within you to believe in yourself and listen to your inner guide. That's what needs to step. The, this is the very last card in the deck. That means that the, the fool is the first card. The fool starts the journey. And then we have to go through all those cards to get to this card. All those lessons. You guys have learned a major life lesson. It's like a, a, a check off on your, your list. It's time to move on. It is. Celebrate that as, as a success, even if you don't think it was, it was. Because you learned from that experience. It's part of you now, built your character. It was a success. Even if you've changed and you're not the same person, it was a success, it was. 
You have a major new beginning in front of you, but you got to walk away from one situation first, whether it's job or relationship. Something you need to turn your back on that is no longer emotionally fulfilling you, but you got to find the strength to do it. Until you do, you're going to keep being thrown conflicts. I'm not kidding you. I wouldn't want to live like that. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See? There's a connection. There's a connection that's waiting for you. Whether this is love or work, there's a connection waiting for you. And you're missing out. Connect with someone special. A loved one is a gift to treasure. Go back and read that comment in last week's Virgo. It's seriously. Because this guy has, he had to leave his, his whole, you have to read it, I can't remember it all, his family. You know, and he talks about his kids and whatever in the comment. And he is so happy he found his other half. But it took a lot of courage for him to do that. He explains it, and it's made for you guys. It's it's another Virgo, okay? So anyway, you have somebody. You have a situation that is meant for you, but you're in a situation that is no longer meant for you, and you need to find the courage and the confidence and the willpower to believe in yourself and follow your own path and not be guilty. So anyway, that, that's what I have, Virgo. I'll talk to you later.